This video is how to swap crypto in Phantom Wallet. You can actually use this feature to bridge crypto between blockchains as well. So I'll show you how to do that and I'll leave timestamps down in the description. If you want to add other blockchains in, for example, Polygon and Ethereum, go to the menu right here, go down to settings and then go to active networks and switch on the networks you want to use. If you want to bridge crypto between these blockchains, you can do it right here by turning these on. And then as long as you have balance on the blockchain that you're bridging from, you can pay for the transaction fees and bridge a crypto from one blockchain to another. From here, what we're going to do is go to the swap feature. Whichever blockchain that you're using, you're going to need some assets on there to swap from, and you need the gas coin on the network that you're using. If you're using Solana as a network, you need some soul in your wallet. If you're using Ethereum, that's ETH, Polygon, that's Matic. So what I'll do now is get some soul into my wallet. So I'm gonna go over to the main menu. I'm just gonna copy my wallet address. You can see here the different wallet addresses. So I'm going to send some soul to my Solana wallet. So I'm going to copy the wallet address here. We're gonna go over to my Bybit account. I bought some Solana, press withdraw, and then it's gonna check the details. I'm going to enter my wallet address right here and just withdraw the amount. Chain is Solana and we'll withdraw an amount to send over to my wallet. So the coin and the wallet address, and then the amount that you wanna send over to your wallet. You need a bit of gas to pay for the transaction fee, even if you're swapping assets that aren't the actual gas coin. If you want a deposit bonus on Bybit, I'll leave that link down in the description as well. From here, we can make the swap on the same blockchain or bridge between different blockchains. So I'm gonna use some Solana as value to swap and also as gas at the same time. If you click this up here, it's gonna show you a list of the assets that you have in your wallet that you can use as value to swap into something else. Some of these assets may not be available to bridge. Usually only stable coins and layer one coins are available to bridge, but you can see the supported assets when you're swapping. So I'm gonna choose Solana here. Then I'm going to select the token that I wanna swap into. So I'm gonna press this. You can see for right here, if I choose Solana, this is a Solana blockchain swap. So this is going to be very cheap and easy to do, so I can go into any of these coins. If I want to now bridge this token to one of the other chains, I can choose that right here, and it's gonna give me options to bridge that coin that I'm selling into something on the other chain. On Ethereum, it's just these two stable coins. You can see Polygon as well, just these two stable coins. Now, if you're swapping from one of the other chains like ETH or Polygon, then of course, it's gonna give you the options to swap from that chain into either you know the other two chains. So you can see the supported assets uh, that you may want to bridge, or if you're on the same blockchain, it's going to give you a list of every token on that chain. So from here, I'll just choose USDC and on Solana as well. And then we have to go through and check our slippage settings. Up in the top right-hand corner, see this icon here, click this. Slippage is the difference between the price quote that you get given when you look at the swap, and then the actual price that is traded on the blockchain. There may be a slight difference here. And so what I would recommend is if you're trading very large liquid cryptos, like a layer one coin and a stable coin, you really don't need much slippage whatsoever. I'd put this down to 0.3%. If you're trading very small tokens, meme coins or whatever, then the slippage may have to be a lot more. 1%, 5%, 10% maybe. And what this means is the price quote that you get given your price and trade could slip and be worse by this percent. So I'm okay with a worse trade by 0.3%, but I'm not okay with a worse trade by 1%, not for this pair. So for me, 0.3. If the trade, when it goes through, actually is worse than this, then the trade will be canceled and I won't trade. That is why I put my slippage settings here. So I'm gonna confirm this. And then from here, I have to choose the amount of the asset that I want to trade something like that. And it's going to give me the uh, exchange rate. So I'm swapping Sol into USDC and you can see it's on the Solana blockchain here. And this is the amount that I'm uh, actually swapping. Let's do that. And then what we can see is the provider. So Phantom is essentially an aggregator in this case. And it's gonna scan a lot of decentralized exchanges and give you the best trade at the current time. So this exchange is what we're using, but it doesn't matter for us. This is the best price right here. Let's review the order. I'm paying this in Sol and I'm swapping into another token. 
This is the price. These are the fees that I'll be paying and the price impact is zero, slippage 0.3%. So what we can do is go ahead and swap this. You'll also see down here, just above the swap, that it includes a 0.85% phantom fee. The wallet is charging you 85 basis points for the privilege of using it to swap the tokens. But we'll go ahead and do it anyway. So swap, that's swapping the tokens now and it's done. So that's swapped and as you can see, if we go back to our uh, main page here, we should now have a balance of the USDC as well. So I'm gonna manage tokens. You can search for tokens, but it's actually popped up already, right? So USDC right here, and this is toggled on automatically because it found a balance. So just go back to close and there's the balance right here in our wallet. If you're bridging between networks, it's actually slightly different. You won't be using an exchange, you'll be using a bridge. So as an example, we'll choose from Solana and then go over to Polygon and choose an asset here. You can do this reverse as well if you have some assets in you know, your other accounts here, your other wallet addresses for Ethereum and Polygon. So we'll choose an amount of Solana to bridge over. And then it says how much of the uh, tether that we'll get on the other chain. You can see what's happening here is it's going through all bridge, which is a blockchain bridge, and we'll be paying a fee there. You can see refuel as well. What is refuel? This puts a little bit of the gas coin on the other network that you're bridging to so that you have some gas there on that network to actually use it to manipulate the token that you're sending. You can turn this on or off. If you've already got gas there, you may not need this. Uh, so we can turn it on or off as we want. So we're swapping some amount of Solana and we'll get Tether on the other chain. So review order. And then if you're okay with that, just press swap. What you're actually doing is swapping the asset on the Solana network and then using a bridge to get that value over to the other network. And there may be some fees here as well. So just make sure that you're happy with the fees that you pay and all of the slippage. But if you wanna do that and bridge, just press swap right here. If you don't wanna pay the 85 basis points to Phantom Wallet, which why would anyone wanna do that? Just connect your Phantom to a decentralized exchange directly. So if you've got the extension installed on your laptop already, then just go to Connect Wallet in the top right hand corner, connect your Phantom Wallet. If you have Phantom on your phone, just go to Connect Wallet here, choose Wallet Connect, and then the Phantom Wallet in your phone, choose the QR code scanner, and then you can connect your phone wallet to the application anywhere else. From here, once your wallet is connected, you should see that there's the balances that are recognized, and then you can just swap it directly on the exchange right here. So I can press Swap from USDC back into Sol, like that and the wallet's going to approve uh, my transaction, I can just approve it here. So that's fine, and you don't pay the 85 basis points to Phantom. You can check the exchange rate to make sure that you're getting the best deal, whether it's Phantom or Jupiter or any other decks.